Hi, this is Risa. Welcome to my book review series. I've chosen to review a unique Korean thread painting book called Chun Hee's Dream Story Drawn with Colored Threads. I happened to come across this beautiful book in a thread painting class um, which I took recently. The book's not easily available in the market or on general online stores like Amazon except in some Korean online stores, links of which I've provided below. Now the book is mainly in Korean but it does have translations in English, Japanese and I believe in Chinese as well. I like to do book reviews of unique embroidery books on my channel as um, you know you get a chance to take a peek inside the book before you decide whether you want to invest in it. Kim Chun Hee, who is the author of this book, is an artist and embroideress, and her technique of thread painting is very unique to what I've been exposed to with long and short stitches. She embroiders with silk thread and uses a combination of long and short stitches where applicable in the design and silk thread layering and with this technique achieves a realism in the thread painting that is astounding and highly detailed as you can see from this portrait of a lady in a Korean wedding outfit. Here's another picture of her embroidery art called Whispering Love and it's a beautiful detailed embroidery of a tiger lily and a butterfly. Her book also includes summaries in English for um, someone who doesn't speak Korean to be able to follow. And here are a few more gorgeous pictures of her embroidery art. So this book does not include patterns for any of her embroidery art but she does include some simple patterns at the end of the book. Now this is my favorite um, embroidery art of hers of the cat eyeing the dragonfly and just look at the gorgeous details of the hair on the cat and the whiskers. Here she says when it comes to depicting animal hair embroidery is more effective than painting. I couldn't agree more. At the same time if you look at this piece of the golden carp, I find it amazing that she also manages to bring realism in all other elements of her artwork. Like, for example, this water drop on the lily pad. This here is the art that she's done using watercolor pencils. And frankly, it's gorgeous enough to be hung in the wall just as is. But then she takes it a step further and renders it with embroidery silk thread and here on the left side is a picture of the embroidery piece and look at the details on the water drop. That's why I wanted to review this book on my channel because I think it's unique and beautiful and should be shared more widely. Look at this gorgeous design of the flower in a vase. Uh, here she uses a mix of long and short stitches uh, for the flower using silk thread and her own technique here to represent the vase and she also uses cotton threads for other elements of this particular design. Now if you've been patient enough to watch this video till here you'll be rewarded with the fact that she has some free designs uh, at the back of the book and uh, what's unique is that not only does she have the pattern available, she also includes a QR code here, which is pretty tech savvy and modern, I must say, for a book. And all you need to do is uh, take your phone, scan the QR code, and voila, you're on her YouTube site for this particular embroidery pattern which you can then follow along with her to stitch. And uh, there are a few more of these beautiful designs. I like this particular one, uh, but I think this design only includes the stitch along for the woven basket. Uh, so I've provided links to her YouTube channel below as well for your ease of reference. Here's a chapter of how she twists and combines 
silk threads for her projects. A process that looks pretty tedious if you ask me and I don't think I would like to invest so much time in my own embroidery projects. And here's a chapter of how she turns her artwork uh, into an embroidery piece. Unfortunately, she doesn't include the pattern for this dragonfly, but she does give you a summary of the steps she's taken. So I hope you've found this book review useful. I've provided the ISBN number here below and links to where you can buy this book online. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to click the subscribe, like and notification buttons. See you again next time. Bye bye.